Oh, it's uh, uh, six, uh, 9.54 a.m. Uh, Thursday, 29 uh, June 2016. Uh, well, that looks funny. Uh, so, oh. Funny stupid thing. Uh, don't move her out. Don't move her out. <coughs> don't move her out. <coughs> So I gotta go to the job agency thing. I gotta go to the job agency thing. Uh, oh no, it's blurry. Why is it blurry? <laughs> so, <coughs> uh, yeah, shit, 9.55, I gotta, uh, I gotta finish this makeup thing. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so I slept in again. Very tired. Very tired. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, I gotta go to the uh, motor registry I, 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 and uh, submit my identification. Do an identification check for. Um, for a working with children's check uh, application. Uh, <coughs> so I, and I enrolled in the course yesterday. I paid the $240. So I'm going to take the, the receipt and, and, and take it to my employment consultant. See, I enrolled. This is six hours per week. This is six hours per week in the evenings. Uh, two days, two days in the evenings. I called him like four times yesterday, but I couldn't get through for some reason. I couldn't get through. I, I called four times. Well, yesterday I ate a lot of bread, so I, I feel like my face might be a bit fat. Uh. Uh. I need to get my act together. I need to get my act together. I gotta go to electrolysis on Monday. I mean, I have to, I have to, <coughs> I have to remind myself: do not shave <laughs> till Monday. You need to let the hair grow. Let oh, the hair grow. Do not shave, whatever you do, don't, don't forget the electrolysis, let it, let it, uh, let the hair grow a bit. Problem area. It's a problem area. It is a problem area. believe it's still such a big problem in that area. Such a pain. <coughs> it's when you're a transsexual woman who uh, you know transitioned late in life. One of the some of the I feel like that they they should uh, I don't know if you can consider this a disability. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's like interesting because if you're a woman and you have a voice uh, that is very deep and then it makes you sound like a dude. <laughs> uh, that can cause, a, it's a social disability. So it might not be a health-wise disability, but it's definitely a social 
that's the thing. Disability or can come in both uh, physical, or mental, but it can also be a social disability. So I think being trans is definitely a social disability because the, the you know because of the fact that if you're <coughs> if you're visibly trans, like if people can tell, oh, this person is trans, then you're gonna face a lot of uh, hostility. Yeah, you know, people are just so, so bad. Um, even within the LGBT community, it's like, ugh, it's just so bad. Uh, trans, especially trans women, I think that they're the most uh, marginalized, I would think, trans women of color. Yeah. So, you know, it's, anyway, so it is a social disability thing, I think. Uh, I should read up on this stuff. I should read up on it. I should, I should spend my time reading. Uh, I should spend my time medicating, medicating myself. Hmm. Uh, uh, that's right. I, I did wash this yesterday. Okay. <coughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I, mean, I brush my hair, so I don't need to worry about that. I brushed my hair. So, uh, yeah, I gotta, uh, my mom's gonna go to the, uh, she's gonna go to the, um, what are you stupid thing? Oh, man, my hair, uh, hair problems, hair problems, Oh, I gotta print this stuff. Why don't I do this stuff earlier? Why do I have to always like leave it to the last minute? Everything is like I gotta, I gotta leave everything to the last minute. It's like oh, I gotta do this now. I gotta do that. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. Oh shit! Oh, let me just print this stuff. Let me just print this. Oh, stupid thing. Uh, oh yeah, I'll take the. Uh, Oh yeah, the receipt. <clears throat> yes, I want a print of that. I was having a dream, and in that dream, I was actually making a video, or some weird video, and it was like, I lost the file, or like, you know how the file gets corrupted? And it's like, um... Oh my god! Oh, what happened to the light? Uh, so, um, <clears throat> so I, I lost the file and I was trying to recover the file and it's like, it was a very weird dream. Very weird. What am I looking for? Oh yeah, I did order the, the Dr. Bronner's thing. <sighs> I need to get my focus. What am I looking for? Shit, I don't know. I'm like so unorganized. I'm looking for something I can't remember where it is I'm looking for. I got that. What else do I need? Oh yeah, the application number, that's right. For the um you know the Oh, the stupid thing. Uh, you know, the uh, working with children's check thing. Uh, yeah, that's right. The application. Number. Okay. I got this printer. I'll print this thing. I think the number is here. AP <laughs> uh, What the fuck? What's the number? I I need my application number, they give that to you.
gotta get the hell out of here. What the hell? Isn't this a number? Anyway, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, out of it. I am really out of it. Oh, this is the receipt. Yeah, I'll print this. <clears throat> anyway, so I gotta go. Yeah, I'm just gonna make him. Anyway, there we go. Oh man, I look like. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this hair? Oh my god. Oh, anyways. Gonna go. <laughs> I gotta drive this car. Hey, driving. Oh, it's so fat in here. Man, I'm, I'm dealing with this stuff. I'm dealing. Yeah. So I finished the uh, job site thing and apparently she didn't even read my email I sent yesterday. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I gave her the enrollment details and uh, I'm gonna go to the uh, water registry to do my working with children's check identification thing. Yeah. So I'm waiting for my number to be called for the working with children's check. Uh, it's, a z I, uh, it's a zero dollars if you're a volunteer. You don't pay any money, but if you're looking for paid employment, you have to pay $80. But I don't pay any money. I've got my license with me. It's a proof of identity. I've got my ticket number. It's tw uh, it's, I got this ticket at 12.06 p.m. Oh. You know, uh, the, uh, when I was at my employment consultant, she asked me if I, want, I wanted to have my enrollment in the course fee reimbursed because they can do that. And I said, oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> she goes, I would take it. So, so, so I, I submitted it, that in, so the $240 of enrollment fee. Um, Ticket K120. Please proceed to counter four. No, oh, that's not me. Uh, mine is R183. R183. So, yeah, so I might get the $240 reimbursed. So I can give that money back to my brother immediately. So I could pay that off. I can't believe I was like, oh, it's okay. You don't have to reimburse me. Tickets are 183. Okay. So I was recording this clip that totally didn't get recorded. Anyway, what happened at the motor registry was very interesting, funny. Uh, so apparently, I was interacting with this guy. He was he was so nice. He was very friendly. And um, apparently he was having some issues with the system because it was giving an error code. And he went over and talked to his colleague and he came back and he couldn't figure out why this error code was happening. And finally found out that on the system, they had, it had me uh, listed as M. And on my application I put F for female. And he was like, oh, and I know what the issue is. He was so discreet about it because he actually wrote it down on a piece of paper M and F and then and then he said oh I'll just fix it up um, so he changed the thing to F and I, I, sh I, felt, I felt like I had to tell him and so I told him I'm trans, I'm transgender and then he goes oh that's okay, it's not, it's not, it doesn't bother me <laughs> oh, it's something like it's, you know, it's, it's not it's like he's sort of indicating that I don't have any issues. Uh, something like he was very, very friendly about it. Didn't even make a deal. Uh, he was so. What kind of 
ended up being such an awkward situation with me having to explain, oh, I had transitioned and... So he just changed it on the system to F and, uh, and anyway, I think this person wants to park, I don't know. Um, yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> he was a very friendly guy. He was, he was uh, so maybe, he, maybe a little bit older than me, but very Australian, very, you know, very friendly. We were so nice. I, I, I felt like I was nervous and I was like, he was so nice about it, it made me feel so calm. See, that's like, a, you know, sometimes you meet people who are nice and, you know. So what could have been an awkward situation? Ended up being okay. So he said, like, uh, the check, uh, I mean, the, the application. Um, uh, so they'll send me an email next week, maybe Wednesday. And I just have to hand that over. Yeah, anyway, so. <laughs> Yeah, I recorded a whole clip like this walking all the way and I just didn't record because I, I, I didn't press the record button. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna go home now. See, this is the, what happens when you deal with the bureaucracy. You have to out yourself. I had to, I, 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 I felt like I had to out myself, but I didn't really because he wasn't asking me. He just sort of like, oh, it's, we'll, uh, I'll change it to F. So he changed it to F. And, I don't know, <laughs> whatever. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go home now.